all this is just a quick update um, for this weekend. We've got Ruby Armani racing at Hastings at 3.17 p.m. and the 1400 Open Handicap. Hopefully she goes a good fresh first up race. Not expecting her to win, but expecting her to put in a good effort. She was very keen here when she left pre-training and um, she seemed to like what she was up to. So I expect a, a, a decent old run from her um, going into this season. Uh, I just wanted to show you um, Dance 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 is my new little buddy out here at Coniston Lodge. Uh, Rascal is staying the winter here until he goes back to sulky racing um, for kids cats. So Gracie is absolutely and loves this little fella. Um, so that's her new best friend and as you can see they're getting on very very well. Uh, the others seem very scared of him. <laughs> so when they're out working we put him away and where he's not visible to all the other horses but um, yeah Gracie really likes little rascal. Um, the other updates that I've got for you of course you've been getting them from Logan Racing which is um, Emma Lavita Starlight Express in Los Angeles all doing well in their preps and um, looking forward to, to the uh, late autumn carnival with them going forward we've got from trials coming up jump out for Emma Lavita and um, a race for Los Angeles at the end of next week so um, all going forward we have some very exciting times on our hands and I'm really looking forward to getting those horses out there and galloping along each each to his own really um, I have of course uh, coming back into work on Monday that will be um, the Bride Abyss filly which is now named Devotion in Motion um, and of course the Ocean Park Colt out of Songfest who was um, who's going to do a little bit of prep work as well uh, still breaking in is the Run Easy Colt uh, by Ocean Park. Both Ocean Parks still have shares available. Um, they're looking absolutely outstanding. I couldn't be happier with them. So if you're thinking about or your friend, any of your friends that are interested in getting involved in racing, please do contact me because I really do think they're two valued colts, those two. We've also got the contributor filly who just went out yesterday um, for a spell. She's got only 30% left and she is just a rocket ship. I'm um, really looking forward to getting her up to Lo Logan Racing for a two-year-old prep because I think she'll go early, um, which is probably um, Andy, her pedigree, which is interesting to me because she just seems like a really strong get-up-and-go type of filly. So all these horses are very, very um, reasonably priced and only around the $5,000 mark even for 10%, even after breaking and pre-training and spelling and all the things that they've been doing so if you are interested like I said give me a call it's a bit murky here today um, although the grass has been growing as you can see just even down the alleyway it's a um, still turning green um, I'm really looking forward to the season coming up should be good good going ahead I'm just gonna pop over here I did a bit of weaning on this week Bean. We've got the foals over here now instead of being with their mothers. Um, let's see if we can find them. Good luck to Team Ruby Armani. Uh, I know we'll be uh, jumping up and down at the TV set today. Unfortunately, it's my daughter's birthday at the same day, so we've uh, chosen to celebrate her birthday and not make the trip down to Hastings. Uh, generally, I would have done that, but since it did land on her birthday, uh, I haven't gone down. So there are the two weanlings now. Um, interestingly enough, the grey filly there, I don't know if you can see which one's grey but it's the closest to the camera. She, um, her dam is a half sister to Zalate who's heading for the South Australian Oaks at Morfittville in about 10 days time. So if uh, we get a decent run from that filly, then uh, this one here in the paddock will be have a really nice little pedigree update. So when I go to syndicate her, um, you all have some value to the pedigree as well. Isn't she lovely? Nice long leg filly, very athletic. Here they come. So the one coming towards us first, she was actually born with one eye. So if she looks a little bit odd to you, that's the reason why. She was born like that. So she doesn't know any better, but she's a lovely little filly too. She's actually a half-sister to Los Angeles. So she'll just be a mummy. 
one day. So that's it team for the moment, um, the updates. Like I said, I've got some great options available for those of you still interested in getting involved in, in the share in racing. Um, can't say enough for Bloodstock Achieving Excellence. We're doing really well and uh, we only have a small group of horses, but they seem to be able to pick up their legs and go for us and run really well for us and um, try hard to the line at least. So on this beautiful autumn afternoon, have a wonderful Saturday and have a great day of racing. That's Max on track.